Hey guys, um, I'm gonna give you a tutorial today on how to fix the uh, problems with the internet. If your internet keeps dying and keeps having issues, um, internet becomes very slow or uh, cuts off all the time, then you're in luck. I'm gonna give you a um, tutorial on how to use the uh, online software to actually um, monitor and fix the issues with your internet. Uh, it has no spyware um, and it's very safe to use. This is actually developed by the uh, R&D team of the uh, Late Chef and as a courtesy they just include it to the public to use it as a end user license, free end user license. Well, I'll give you a tutorial of how to use that. Just go to latechef.com, scroll down all the way to the bottom. Well, Late Chef is actually an online free web recipe site. You might be using this or not, I'm not too sure, but yeah, they're very popular now. Click on courtesy. Here is the uh, instructions on how to run it, but I'll just give you a tutorial. Click on the link here, save the file. So if you're on Firefox, you just this is the steps you want to go to open the folder. Once you open the folder, you want to cut copy that, paste it into C drive, make sure you're in the C drive, you want to paste it here. Once you paste it here, you want to extract it. Once you extract that, you're going to have that folder here. So open the folder and in here you'll see that little uh, green icon, it's the same icon for Late Chef. Double click that and here at the bottom you'll see it will launch the software. So I'll just pin it for now to give you a quick tutorial. So what this does, it has two LEDs, online and network. Online LED will actually indicate if your computer is successfully able to browse the web. And then the green LED that shows network, that will show the modem status if the uh, modem is at 100% functional state, it will be green. If the modem is semi-working, meaning yeah, it's it's there, you have networking, but you don't have internet connection, or uh, you might have internet connection, but there are some issues still, it's very slow, uh, there are some data crashes, then, um, then this will um, be yellow. If this is actually fully a non-functional state, then this will be red. So once this is red, inevitably you have no access to the internet, so the online will go red as well. How to set this software up to work for your modem? Click on settings, and here I will just uh, change some stuff. Um, you'll have IP address, username, and password. So this IP address is the IP address of your modem to make sure that is the correct one for yours. Here it is. I'll just copy it, paste it here, and you'll log into the uh, your modem. Now this page will be different according to your modem. This software is actually the, the perfect software to have for the, um, especially if you're having uh, fiber optic to very high speed internet and. Um, in these cases, the uh, modem will keep crashing, um, getting slow, and this is the software that will actually take care of all this for you in the background. So, if you're logging into the web page of your modem, uh, if you're prompted with username and password, then this is where you want to put them: username, password. So, once you have the correct IP, correct username, correct password, you want to press on test. Once you press on test, you'll see a couple of green things flashing. Try to do it a couple of times just to make sure. Some modems, they take it one time. Commands, some modems, they, take, they require twice to be sent to them, some three times. And uh, I've never experienced with anything more than four times, but you, but I, you know, you never know. Uh, each modem is uh, different. So let's just say once you press on this test button, you want to check your modem. If the modem is restarting, then perfect, everything is working great, um, you're done. But if the modem does not restart, you want to select, um, oh shoot, okay. Um, 
select default one again test and check the status of the modem if the modem start restarts great if it doesn't restart try the second one and then again test so if the modem doesn't start for any of those you want to deselect select modem and now you're going to do scripting this script here is very tiny it's just a reset a restart command for your modem default one is restart start and default two is reboot i believe and if none of these work then you want to actually um write something like maybe i don't know uh re reset and then try it again see if it restarts the modem if it does not restart the modem then try r set then again test it um r start or r boot and test it you know let's just say you got them all working correctly um you want to go back auto select it so that every time the software launches it will automatically start monitoring the status of the modem and internet and make any changes to your modem according to the um, to the uh, modem specifications now once you want if you want to make this fully automated that it will start it will launch on windows boot and it will start monitoring then you want to take the um, um, you want to come to this location right click on the on the icon go to um, create desktop shortcut cut the shortcut and paste it at the uh, startup folder I already have it here um, but whatever so you want to paste it here now in Windows 8 is difficult to find the startup folder so um, you want to go like this this is the coordinates right here okay so just copy this and paste it here okay so once you paste it here you'll get into it but now be careful you have to enter your own username here this is the username for the um, for your computer it's not the login username this is the username that you indicated when you installed the windows or you can try this one I'm not too sure if this one works pro properly or not uh, might be should be um, but you can give it a shot so once you restart the computer you will you'll see the uh, this will actually automatically launch uh, it won't be here because you know it won't be pinned originally so it'll be just running in the background right here okay so um, yeah I guess that's it happy browsing bye bye